Yesterday, I heard Senator McConnell describe this legislation as a bailout. Is this a bailout? No. Could anyone who walks on the same planet as you do think this is a bailout? No. I want to ask you something. Is, is keeping teachers in the classroom a bailout? No. Is keeping cops on the beat a bailout? No. Is keeping firefighters in the firehouses a bailout? No. Go tell Mitch McConnell. You know, the Republicans that work in the Senate suit up every day, come down to play their game in the Senate by following the lead of their leader, and that is to do whatever they can do to make sure they do everything they can to make Barack Obama's life miserable. In my home state of Illinois, we've seen it. Two-thirds of the school districts have laid off teachers. Go to the city of Moline. They had to drop two shifts of ambulances for the people who live in that area. Across the state, police departments scaling back when they should be out in the neighborhoods doing their job. This bill in my home state of Michigan will put 12,000 Michigan teachers back in the classroom, and we need it. This is so simple. So I say to the American people, watch your senator. Watch him or her choose. Are you going to put 400,000 school teachers back in classrooms? Are you going to put 18,000 cops back in the street and 7,000 firefighters back in the firehouses? Or are you going to save people with average incomes of $1 million a one half of 1% increase in tax on every dollar they make over a million? When we need you and call on you to educate our children and grandchildren, to keep our homes safe, to keep our neighborhoods safe, you're always there. Real people, real people will get real relief right now. The Senate Republicans are different than Republicans in this country. Why do I say that? Because not only do the American people, by a vote of 76, support what we're trying to do with this legislation, but Republicans support it also. Give us a majority vote. We'll put teachers back to work. We'll put firefighters back to work. We'll put first responders, we'll put police officers, our communities will be safer, our children will have smaller class sizes and have the teachers that they need, and our country will be stronger. When we dial 911, we want these men and women standing behind me, answering that phone, the call of duty, risking their lives for us every day. We want to make sure those teachers are there for our children and grandchildren. We're not here to protect millionaires, we're here to protect America.